There was a pastor's conference in Pennsylvania last week that Mike Huckabee couldn't attend, but he wanted to go to. So he sent in a video message instead. And what you're going to see here is just how crazy Mike Huckabee really is. Here he is in Israel. Elijah the prophet, who thought he was the only one God had left, stood on this very place. And it was here that he challenged the prophets of Baal to call upon their God and see if their God would answer. And they built an altar and they tried all day to get an answer from their false gods. And their God never showed up. And then Elijah, after building an altar for the Lord, not only built an altar, made the sacrifice and put it all on the altar with the bull, but then he poured water three times on top of the sacrifice just to make sure that there would be no doubt as to how this battle was going to turn out. Elijah called upon God to send the fire down and we know the story from 1 Kings chapter 18. The fire fell and God showed up as Forrest Gump so brilliantly once said. When that moment happened there was no doubt as to whose God was truly the Lord. When asked, 90 percent of American pastors said they believe that the Bible applies to all the issues of the day. 90 percent believe that those principles apply. But then when he followed up and said, how many of you present the Bible and preach the Bible to the issues of the day, the number was 10 percent. We wonder why our culture has turned godless. We wonder why people don't grow up understanding the fundamentals of natural law, the, the moral basis of our Judeo-Christian founding as a nation. Might it be that the problem is not the history classes in our high schools, but the pulpits of America, who have not taken what they even believe and applied it to the pulpit and to the people? I stand here on Mount Carmel today, and I hope that if called upon, I would be willing to stand all by myself, but to call fire from heaven and believe that God will answer, even if there are hundreds and hundreds of false prophets on the other side. God plus one is still a majority. And I join with Sam and all of you at this conference as you make the U-turn for America, and I ask you to stand in the gap. You may stand here someday and be called upon to call the fire from heaven. I hope you're ready to believe that God will answer that prayer. This guy is Looney Tunes all day long. I think what this shows is that he is totally 100% brainwashed. I think that Mike Huckabee believes the Bible hook, line, and sinker. I think he's actually drunk the Kool-Aid. Like, you know how a lot of politicians, they use the Bible to then just try to get elected, and then once they're in office, you know, they're like Tom DeLay. He was fucking in hot tubs with models as he's pretending to be super Christian and this and that. He was just using it. No, Mike Huckabee really believes it. Mike Huckabee and Rick Santorum, those are the two who are like, whoa, buddy, you want to talk about Christian Taliban? That's exactly what they are. He believes the Bible hook, line, and sinker to the point where, God forbid this guy were to get any higher position of power, if he were president, oh my God. I think if he were president and somebody were to show him in the Bible, like, hey, Mike, I don't know if you missed these parts of the Bible, but see how they ban shellfish? You can't have lobster, you can't have crab. Uh, see this part where it bans a mix of two different fabrics with clothes, so like you can't put cotton and polyester or satin together, whatever. I think Mike Huckabee, if he saw that, he'd be like, fuck. We gotta act! What are we doing? This is crazy! We gotta- come on, ban it! Ban- ban the fish market! Ban- what are we doing? Ban- go crack down, pass a new law that says only pure f uh, fabrics of any kind can be made. No mixes. That's how fucking uh, brainwashed I think he is. He, he obviously doesn't know everything that's in the Bible, because if he read it, he would find out all that stuff that I mentioned, among other things. But either way, I think he believes it. And look, the saddest thing is that we all know, like, he fell for it because he's not that smart. We fell for it because it, he was probably indoctrinated by his mommy and daddy, and just like every person who went down this path, this is how deep their thinking goes. Well, my mommy and daddy are good people. They're nice. They were nice to me. They taught me this. 
Therefore, this must be true. Hmm. Childish, stupid thinking. But that's, in a majority of cases, that's what goes on with religious people around the world. They're just born into whatever particular religion it is, and they believe it to varying extents. Mike Huckabee took it to heart. He's like, my culture has to be right. Well, you fucking idiot. You know how many thousands of religions have existed throughout time? And if you, were ha if you happen to be born in any other context, you would just believe the other one hook, line, and sinker. You would believe in Buddhism if you were born in, uh, in uh, Myanmar. You would believe in Islam if you were born in, uh, in Iran. It'd be Shia Islam. You'd believe in Sunni Islam if you were in Saudi Arabia. You'd be a, a, a Wahhabist. You'd believe in, you know, Scientology in this place, Mormonism in that place, Shinto in this place. It, the list goes on and on, but since he was born here, ah, oh, we're special. We have the, the right God. He even said, quote, there was no doubt whose God is true. Yes, there is! There's nothing but doubt everywhere when it comes to that question. Are you kidding me? There's zero evidence for any of your fucking gods. But he's out there, arrogant, as if he knows scientifically. Like, there's a fucking equation on his paper. I proved it! I know my god is real, see? There's no reasoning, there's no logic, there's no evidence. They're brainwashed. These people need to stay away from power because they will do fucking damage in office. Because the other side of this coin is what? tribalism. You're either with us or you're against us. Either you're a fundamentalist Christian and you believe the bullshit I believe, or you're the enemy and I don't give a fuck what happens to you, and I may even do violence on you. This is a guy right here who supported the war on terror 100%. So that's the problem. The problem is irrational beliefs and the consequences of those irrational beliefs, and Mike Huckabee showing it right here.